One of the biggest industries in the entire world has to be the automotive industry. It's about fixing cars. And on top of that, there's tons of different aspects that go into the automotive industry. For one, you have customization, and two, you have things like mechanics or repair shops. You also have things like interior design and tons of other things. When it comes to the automotive world, if you're a dropshipper, you can get into it in quite a few different ways. And on top of that, it's a pretty lucrative business model. Take it from somebody that used to work on their car all the time. Car parts, whether they be to personalize or fix your car, can be pretty, pretty, pretty expensive expensive they're crazy expensive so that means the automotive industry can be a pretty lucrative business when it comes to drop shipping so in this video i'm going to give you 20 of the best auto parts to be able to start drop shipping for your automotive drop shipping business of course you don't have to have just an automotive drop shipping business if you have a generic business you can sell some of these items on there as well but if you're not selling car parts or anything that has to do with cars then trust me you're missing out so without further ado Let's go ahead and get to it. But before we do get started, I want you all to keep in mind that everything that I'm going to be covering in this video, including some of the different links, are going to be included in an easy to reference cheat sheet. If you want access to that, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below, hashtag car parts, and let me know which one of these items was your favorite. Which one do you plan on selling in your store? Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll go ahead and reply back with a link to the cheat sheet. Now, as a car enthusiast, I can personally tell you that when it comes to car parts, regardless if it's parts to actually fix your car, to customize your car, or different items to just have for your car, the automotive industry is an extremely lucrative business. There's tons of money to be made in this industry. <laughs> Yeah, so those are some clips from my old Instagram accounts that had to do with some of the modding that I did for my old cars. So as you can see, I like cars and specifically, I like fast cars. Now with that, let's go ahead and get started with the countdown. And the first item we're gonna talk about in the auto parts section is gonna be a car battery charger. Now, I don't know if it's happened to you, but I know for sure it's happened to me before and it's definitely happened to a lot of people that I know. A lot of times you leave something in your car on overnight, like let's say a light and your battery drains. So the next morning when you have to get up for work, you try to start your car and nothing. Well, that's when these car chargers can come in very handy, especially if something like this happens when you're somewhere else, like let's say a store. If you're somewhere else, you're gonna have to rely on somebody to be able to come help you or the kindness of strangers when you ask them, hey, can I get a boost? Now this eliminates all of that. A battery charger, simply all you do is plug it into your batteries. You put the negative and the positive, you let it charge for a couple minutes and that can help you start your car right up. These are pretty essential and honestly, they can come in very handy when you least expect it. So a lot of people are looking for these and they're looking for these at pretty good prices so right now is definitely the time to be offering this if you're looking to sell auto parts another in demand and highly useful item is an air compressor now air compressors can be used for a few different things for one you can use it to fill up air on a tire of course we all know that this happens more often than not and a lot of the times we're stuck with a flat tire so what do you have to do either drive really slowly to a gas station and pay for air or simply just go to the back of your car and pull out your air compressor now aside from being able to inflate your tires an air compressor can also be used to power certain power tools. So lately with some of the more advanced cars, with advancing technology, a lot of issues start to come with alternators. And what better tool to be able to diagnose whether or not something's wrong with the alternator than an alternator tester. Alternator testers are super easy to use. They have two clips. All you have to do is put one on the positive and one on the negative terminal of the battery and read whatever it says on the diagnostic screen. Now, aside from that, there's one product on a car that is kind of constantly being replaced. And it's one that's also a very popular item that's being replaced. I'm pretty sure you've heard of it before. Some people call it a car ignition plug, but most people commonly refer it to as spark plugs. Spark plugs have to be changed every so often. And sometimes you don't have to just change one. You have to change multiple. Now, when it comes to the spark plugs, there's quite a few different variations and they all can vary from model to model of each car. So always try to offer as many as you can in as wide of a variation as possible. Car brake pads are up next. And of course, everyone needs to have some pretty good brake pads in order to stop. If you don't, then that's a total safety hazard. So that's why everyone is always replacing their brake pads as soon as they start squeaking or maybe a little bit after they start squeaking. Now, when it comes to the brake pads, these prices can vary wildly depending on the car that you're selling selling these for. So the brake pads for a Ford Focus will be a lot cheaper than the brake pads for, let's say, a BMW or a Porsche. Now, let me know if this has ever happened to you. You're driving along and somebody just accidentally fender benders you. You get out of the car, you look at the accident and you realize there's really not much damage. But when you get home, you realize there's a big scratch on your car. So what are you going to do then? The person already left, so you can't call them and start calling insurances. So at this point, you're either going to have to have this particular part of the car repainted, which can be very expensive 
Trust me, when I had to repaint just the fender of my old Mustang, I had to pay almost $600 just for the paint job. And that was at a discount. Now, the other option is to fix it yourself. And the way you do this is with a paint car kit. Now, when it comes to this, there's quite a few different variations. You can find sprays, you can find creams, or you can find markers. Now, for the most part, these are gonna come in different colors. Of course, you're gonna have to find the color that matches your particular car. And that's why it's very important to offer as many variations as you can when it comes to the different types of paint colors. The blue from a Porsche is not gonna be the same blue from a Ford, and the blue from a Ford is not gonna be the same blue from a Chevrolet. All of the car companies have their own specific car colors, so it's really important to be able to offer as many variations as possible. And trust me, there could be thousands. Now this next item can help actually protect from minor dings, minor dents, and minor scratches. And that's a door protective film cover. Now these can really just protect your car from minor damages. If you get in an accident, these aren't gonna do anything. But when it comes to typical and normal wear and tear, or let's say a little ding, maybe you're at the supermarket and some lady decides to just leave her cart there and it just starts rolling and scratches your car on the side, this will protect from those little accidents. Now, speaking of accidents and scratches, as I mentioned earlier, when it comes to the paint correction, there are different types of pens that have different colors to be able to cover up scratches on your car. But not only that, some scratches can actually be pretty deep where a regular paint marker or a car paint marker won't be able to fix it. So in which case you can offer a scratch pen remover. Now, what this does is it pretty much fills in the little gaps in between the scratches and then you can paint right over it. So that way it looks as if nothing was ever there. Of course, this does have to be done with patience and not everyone is going to get the same results not everyone is going to love how it comes out but it's definitely something that can help get the job done and it will make the car look a little bit better without having that huge scratch on it all right so next up for all the pet lovers out there that love to travel with their furry companions we have dog seat car covers as we all know dogs can get pretty hairy they can leave hair pretty much everywhere on your car and on top of that they can scratch up the upholstery of the car itself and that is a big no-no because we all know that cars are a huge investment. So because of that, car dog seat covers are the perfect addition to any pet lovers and automotive enthusiasts out there. So because of that, people always wanna make sure that their cars are fully protected from their furry friend's claws and their fur. Now this next item is one that is actually fairly new. This is something that I started seeing more and more on TikTok. I just keep scrolling and people start using this and it actually caught my attention. If you haven't seen it, then you need to check this out. I'm talking about car cleaning gels. These are pretty much these little blobs. So I don't know if you remember a movie called Flubber from way back in the day about this little green gel looking thing that would just run around everywhere, bounce everywhere, and I think it could transform into a bunch of different things. That's pretty much what this is. It looks like a little mini flubber, and all you have to do is just put it into any crack, into any crevice, or into any space that's dirty in your car, and it'll automatically pick up any dirt or any dust that's just laying around. It'll stick directly to the gel, and it'll leave it spot free. Now this next batch of items is going to be cosmetic and appearance items. So these are all going to be to be able to change some of the looks of the interior of the car. And to start off, we're gonna have shift knob covers. Now, when it comes to the shift knob covers, these can really vary wildly because every car has a different type of shifter. Some are stick shift cars while others are automatic. When it comes to the automatic shifters, the size, the placement, the shape are all gonna be different. So you wanna make sure that you offer a bunch of different variations for specific models as well as universal adaptations. So some that can be used on pretty much any car. Next up, we have pattern steering wheel covers. Now these will go perfectly with the shift knob covers, especially if you get a matching set. And that right there actually just sparked an idea in my head. Right there, you can offer an add-on or you can offer them as a set, a steering wheel cover along with a shift knob cover. That right there can always increase your average order value and get you some more profits. So what these do is pretty obvious. They protect your steering wheel because you know, as always, whenever you're driving, you're holding the steering wheel. And when you turn, sometimes you do this, sometimes you grab it, you let it go. So ultimately it's gonna put some wear and tear on the steering wheel itself. And depending on the type of car that you have and the quality of the steering wheel, it could start to peel, it could start to crack, and it could start to just get old and look bad. So these steering wheel covers will protect the upholstery of the steering wheel itself. Not just that, but it'll also protect it from the sun. Now going hand in hand with the other options, another perfect add-on to add to the set are car seat covers. This way you can put a total matching set for an interior of a car and just have the entire interior matching. People love to make sure that their cars match and are stylish. Now when it comes to the car seat covers, just just like the shift knob covers, there's tons of different variations for all of the different types of models and different types of cars there are. Sometimes you're gonna have cars that have
have a full row of seats. Sometimes you're gonna have cars that have single seats. And sometimes you're gonna have cars that just have bigger or smaller seats or bucket seats, racing seats. So the variations for this are absolutely endless. You can get universal fitting covers or you can get covers that are specific to car models. So you can get some that are specific to a BMW M5 or a Ford Focus or one that can fit both. Up next, we have 3D reflective stickers for your car. Now, of course, these are wildly popular, but personally speaking, it's not my thing. But like I said, they're wildly popular and there's a huge market out there for these types of products. Now, these come in quite a few different variations and some of them even glow. Some of them are reflective. It really all depends on the type of material and sticker that's used. You can find these with some pretty cool designs and some that are just basic with some basic designs. Some of these do look really cool. Some of these, if used appropriately and if used right, they'll look pretty cool, they'll look good on the car. But I've seen some people that overdo it and they just put too many stickers on their car and they just look like a driving billboard. But you know what, to each their own, I'm not gonna judge. Everyone has their own preferences. So these stickers are something that can be wildly popular and a lot of people will definitely purchase. Now, the good thing about these stickers is the fact that they're pretty low priced. So a lot of the times these will be purchased as add-ons or whenever somebody's making a large purchase, these can also be given as a gift or a free add-on. So that way you can increase your customer satisfaction because who doesn't like free stickers? Now this next item is one that's pretty essential to pretty much any car and almost every car that you see is gonna have this and I'm talking about floor mats now floor mats are typically even given whenever you purchase a car so these items can be offered to your general consumer or you can start reaching out to different car dealerships and offering them your floor mats you can offer them at a discounted price especially if they purchase at bulk or if possible you can offer to beat their current suppliers prices I'm telling you when it comes to the automotive world every single car that you get into is gonna have car mats primarily because it just makes it that much easier to clean the inside of the car. On top of that, these can also be offered in quite a few different variations. Sometimes you can have them with different designs, different materials. Some are more heavy duty than others. So the options for this are pretty wide. Now this next item on the list is actually one of my favorites because it really takes me back to my first and my second car that I had. And wow, this actually takes me back. Like I'm just having total nostalgia right now. And I'm talking about a multimedia system for your car. Now what I mean by a multimedia system for your car is it's pretty much a replacement for for your old radio. For the most part, this is gonna be geared towards people with older cars because most newer cars, typically cars that are maybe five or six years old, maybe even older, maybe 10 years old, typically come standard now with a screen already built in. Now these multimedia systems typically do have a touch screen and back in the day, they would actually have CD players as well. Of course, nowadays CDs are obsolete, so they're gonna have Bluetooth. Most of these are gonna have built-in Bluetooth and they might even have something like Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So that way it makes it compatible with your phone. A lot of the times these will connect to a camera so you can connect it to let's say a dash cam or a rear view camera so you can see what's going on behind your car and just scrolling through Amazon you can see that some of these are basic replacement for radios while others are more advanced. As you can see these right here these are more like touch screens these have more of a feel of an actual phone so that's when you connect it to your phone and that's when you can start using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So this is the one that I'm talking about this right here. I remember back in the day you used to go to let's say Best Buy or even Circuit City and you would see see these radios and a lot of these would have the iconic dolphins in the front. So these would have a little splash screen where you would just have some animated dolphins just swimming around. Sorry, it just took me back to like the early 2000s. And it's funny because I just saw a TikTok about this about two days ago. But in essence, what you're going to end up doing with these different car radios or multimedia systems is going to be, again, hooking up your phone to it. But the reason behind that would be to be able to access your messages more safely than actually looking at your phone. A lot of the times this will be able to read it out to you and you can reply back by just speaking or you can also use it to put your GPS on there so you can more safely drive around rather than you know having the GPS on your phone on your hand and driving around looking at your phone and looking at the street that's not safe now the next item on this list is a pretty big one and this one has a few different variations on the way it works and this is an OBD2 reader so an OBD2 port is just this right here so pretty much is just this right here or this one right here or just that right there typically this 
this is located to the side of the steering wheel under the dash where you can easily access it with your left hand right by the driver's side door. Now what the OBD2 reader does, it's pretty much these. So what these will do is you'll connect it directly to that port. And if you ever have any issues with your car or if you have your check engine light on, this will tell you why that check engine light is on. And it'll also tell you some other issues that you might not know that are going on with your car. If you ever need to reprogram anything on your car, you can do it using these tools. Of course, take caution when you're reprogramming certain parts of your car because you can probably mess up your car if you start tinkering with some things that you don't know. But for the most part, these are typically used primarily to read any error codes and see what's going on with the car and see what's malfunctioning in it. Now these come in a few different variations. Typically they're going to be basic like this one right here or this one right here, where it just has the cable that connects to the OBD2. But you also have some other ones like this one, which connects through Bluetooth to your phone. So you can actually plug that into your car and just leave it plugged in pretty much forever and you can get different data on your phone as you're driving and of course if you just want to check trouble codes you can do that as well now these are pretty universal so one is pretty much going to fit any type of car. Now, this next product is one that has become in the last few years, an essential item to have in your car. And I'm talking about a dash cam. And nowadays you need to be driving around with a dash cam because if you get hit, you're going to have proof of what happened, whether it be your fault or whether it be the other driver's fault, you have recorded proof with a dash cam. A lot of the times people like to hit and run. And if that happens, you have a dash cam to cover your butt. So that way you can get their license plate number and you can see exactly what happened. Some of these dash cams also work even when the cart is off. So let's say somebody goes up to your car and just bumps into it or decides to try to steal your car, these dash cams often will pick that up. Some of them can be active throughout the entire night or day whenever your car is off and some can be activated by simple motion or a movement or if the car is bumped. Next up, we have a wireless charger for your car. So for the most part, what these end up doing is they're just pretty much little phone stands that connect to your USB port or to the cigarette lighter port on your car, which is that even what it's still called? Back in the day, they used to be called cigarette lighters. You know, that little circle where you just stick in that little piece and you stick your USB cord in there. Yeah, back in the day that used to be used to light cigarettes. So if you don't know, now you know. But pretty much what these wireless chargers do is they get their power from there or a USB port on your car and they charge your phone wirelessly while also serving as a stand. These come in a few different variations. So some of these can be held either in your cup holders or you can attach them to your car vents or you can attach them to your windshield. So as you can see, this one right here can attach to either your dash or your windshield. This one simply attaches to your air vent. This one also goes on your air vent and there's quite a few different different variations when it comes to this. Some are bigger, some are smaller, some charge faster, some charge a little bit slower. It really all depends on the quality of the item that you're getting. One quick tip when it comes to this, always make sure you get one that's a rapid charger. People prefer rapid chargers just because it'll charge your phone a lot faster. And last but certainly not least, we have a breathalyzer for your car. So have you ever had one of those nights where you drink a little bit too much and you're not entirely sure if you should be driving? Well, quick tip for you, if you've had anything to drink, you shouldn't be driving. But if you're in that impaired state of mind and you really can't make any judgment calls, this item can potentially save someone's life. Of course, if they pay attention to it. But what this will do is it's pretty much just like what the cops have. You blow into it and it tells you whether or not your blood alcohol level is higher than it should be. These are for personal use and I can't stress enough. If you've had anything to drink, don't drive. Even if you've had one beer, don't drive. Better safe than sorry. But of course, we all know that whenever anybody's in that state of mind, judgment calls aren't always the best. So hopefully this can actually help somebody make the right call and give the keys to somebody else or just take an uber now what are some of the best places where you can source these different items from well to start you have the auto ds marketplace and the winning product section personally i absolutely love both of them but for this one we're going to go with the marketplace so here you can find tons of different items that are currently trending and these have all been proven to sell these are all backed by years of data gathered by professional drop shippers now as you can see there's tons of different items on here all you have to do is just simply go to the marketplace over at autods.com and if you don't have an account with us just yet then you can sign up right now for the trial period for just one dollar but once you're signed on this is what i recommend for you to do get on here and then from your supplier switch it over to autods then once you do that just go ahead and type in the word car in the search bar and you'll get tons of different items that have to do with a car or with that search query or whatever it is that you're looking for now of course here you have tons of different items some of which were not covered in this list so just check this one out right here this is a car vacuum this is an extremely 
powerful car vacuum. Now this is super popular item and the best part about it is that you can have it shipped with your own branding. So whenever you have this shipped, as long as it says customizable branding, it'll be shipped with a custom thank you card with your logo on it and a custom thank you message for your customer. That gives it an extra little touch and really makes it stand out and be a bit more memorable to your customer whenever they open up the packaging. Of course, there's a lot more items that you can find on here. For one, you have something like an adjustable dog leash that actually clicks onto your car's seatbelt. You also have window cleaners, different types of chargers, some with multiple USBs that also include USB-C and Bluetooth. You have tons of different items on here to choose from and you can add all of these to your dropshipping store within seconds. All you have to do is just click on import draft. And the best part about it is that most of these have some really fast shipping times. Shipping times on here can range anywhere between one to five business days and between 11 to about 14 business days, depending on the merchant that you're buying from. But if you want to make sure that you only have items that have fast shipping, just click on the fast shipping tab right here. Now, of course, there are a few other places that you can source your products from, some of them being Amazon, Lowe's, Wayfair, Alibaba, Costco, AliExpress, Sam's Club, Target, and Walmart. All of these different places will be selling different kinds of car parts. Some will be specifically purely for aesthetic purposes. Others will be for functionality. Others will be for a little bit of both. Others will be for performance. It really all depends on the supplier you're going to be sourcing your products from. And those were 20 of the best products in the automotive industry that you can start dropshipping right now for some pretty big profits. Remember, if you want everything that I covered in an easy to reference cheat sheet, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below, hashtag car parts, and let me know which one of these was your favorite. My personal favorite, I would have to say either the dash cam or the radio because nostalgia. But I want to know what you think. So let me know down in the comments below. And once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. So once again, huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you found this video helpful, if you found it useful, if you found it informational, please make sure you smash that like button. And while you're there, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Huge thank you to everyone for watching once again. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time.